Hello everyone, I'm Heran Helen John from the University of Pennsylvania. I'm very happy to talk about our paper with you today. Divide is considered difficult to treat using clear aligners reported by several studies. The main mechanisms to treat divide include extrusion of posterior teeth, intrusion of upper and or lower incisors, and the flaring of lower anterior teeth, also known as relative intrusion depending on upper incisor display and skeletal vertical dimension. However, the accuracy of studies focused on deep bite is limited. Our study aims to examine the predictability of overbite correction in deep bite patients using clear aligners and assess the accuracy of vertical movement and inclination change of individual teeth. Retrospectively, we examined 24 deep bite patients with an initial overbite with an average 5.20 mm, treated from September 2016 and completed before August 2021. Smart track materials were used for all patients. The initial, predicted, and achieved final models were exported from CleanCheck and superimposed using best-fit surface-based registration using slicer software. The overbite correction changes in vertical movement and inclination for individual teeth were measured. We found that the mean overbite correction was 33% with a 1.15 mm improvement after the first set of aligners. All this demonstrated statistically significant differences between planned and achieved amounts in vertical movement and inclination change. The largest difference was observed in maxillary center incisors, lower incisor intrusion, and lower premolar extrusion had the similar accuracies. Therefore, overcorrection and additional refinement treatments are needed in almost every patient with a deep bite. We recommend setting up the clean check with an anterior edge to edge or slight open bite, a reverse curve of SP in the lower arch, and heavy posterior occlusal contacts. In addition, adding interproximal reduction for the lower anterior intrusion to reduce contact compressions using a bite ramp, which allows some room for posterior extrusion, and using trees between upper and lower anterior teeth would be helpful. One of the limitations of our study is that we focused on the first set only, and as a follow-up study, we examined those patient populations throughout the treatments. And we found very interesting results. Currently, we are working on our next paper. Please stay tuned.